the first vocation, the first vocation for everyone is holiness. But there is a secondary vocation, right? And yes. that's that's what commonly people think about. So what is what is the secondary vocation? So secondary vocation? vocations, that's a particular path to which God is going to call you. So Latin, it's a fun language. Vox vocis means voice. So vocation is right. the path by which you will best hear the voice of God and respond. The path by which his voice is echoed most powerfully through you to the world. And, and you can hear it also in the verb sense, voco, to call, right? So the path, God does have a particular path by which you will love like him. Right. He has a particular path by which you will become the gift that he made you to be. We don't have to wonder if there's a purpose for our lives. <laughs> He's right. the divine designer, right? And so when we design things, we know exactly why we've designed them and, and how they're going to bring the most um, fruitful fulfillment, right? They're going to meet their, their end, their mission, their totality. And so he has this particular path. So consecrated life comes in different forms. Religious life is one of the forms of consecrated life. Consecrated virginity, priesthood, another path another particular vocation and the sacrament of marriage to be husband to be wife to be mother to be father yes. each of us are called as men you're all called to be sons brothers friend and father each of us women daughter sister friend and mother but these relationships can take on a particular form through hearing the path that god has called you to right so this this path of holiness that we're all every vocation is, is called to live first and then there's a particular way in which we live that out Right, and that's that's the way. So we could say that the path of holiness is our discipleship, yes. right? And then the way that we live that out, evangelize to the world, bring others to Jesus, bring others with us on that on that road to heaven with Jesus. And the way that we live that out is is either through priesthood, consecrated life, or to holy matrimony. Yes. And the question is, right? Again, we can all bring it back to what what way is, is the Lord called my heart to live? How do I best hear His voice and live out His mission in my life? You know, you talked about the, the designer. He designed in a particular way. Yeah. And just like when we create something, even if it's like macaroni and cheese, like we, <laughs> we did it in a particular way for a particular purpose, yes. right? Um, Father Tim Hepner, a good friend of mine and a priest of this diocese, the former vocation director that I followed, um, he used to have this, this great example, and I sometimes use this with the, the littler kids, but it's, it's the Lego analogy, yeah. right? And, and I know you've heard this, uh, we've done this before together, but the Lego analogy is like, you tell kids, like, you get this box of Legos, and it's, there's, there's a million pieces in there, and you, you ask, like, okay, what do we do with all these pieces? Well, you put them together. How do you put them together? You just like randomly put them together however you want because you can build life however you want. Like, how does that turn out when you do that? When you put all the pieces together however you want? And you're like, no, you can't do that. Like, it doesn't work. It, it won't come out to what it's made to be. And the question is, wait a second. You say that there's a way that this is supposed to be? That life is supposed to like turn out? There's, there's a plan? Like, there was a designer who designed this box with, this, with these million pieces, and, and he showed us how to put the pieces together so as to become what it's made to be? Yes. How do we know that? And then all the kids instantaneously say, you got to read the directions on the box. <laughs> like, yes, yes, the Lord has a design and he's told us. He's told us how to seek him. He's told us how to follow him. He's told us how to live. And he's spoken to us how to become the man or the woman that we've been called to be, created to be. And uh, until we live that life, yes. right, we'll never become fully who we were made to be in the eternal mind of God.